Susan Cruz kind of taking a well-deserved break this afternoon after what was a very busy uh, last couple hours. Now, right now, they're just kind of finishing up some of their chop work here. But again, the reason why they uh, were responding to this area in such an aggressive fashion, we are just a few, uh, a few dozen feet away from a whole bunch of homes. So they were able to get this cutoff fire stopped about an hour after it started. So this, uh, take a look at some video of this earlier. So around. 120 this afternoon. That's when they first got dispatch calls about a fire uh, in this section of Diamond Bar. They responded with the aerial attack as well as crews uh, on the ground as well. They had it pretty much all taken care of by 2:35. Um, that was when they were able to have uh, again the crews kind of take a break here and can and cut some more of those fire lines. But again, residents here said uh, this is the closest the fire has been in years. This is the closest though. Yeah. This is the closest call, yeah? Yes, so true. Firefighters made quick work of this one? They did. They got all on it and got down there and put it out. You're taking a live look at some of these firefighters haul in some of the hoses here now. They are going to have another shift of fire crews are going to come back in because, again, they are going to monitor this overnight. And then, again, they're going to have another crew come in at 2 a.m. They say uh, most of the time with these small fires and really just with any fire in general, they'll notice that some of these trees do retain the heat for several hours on end. So they're going to be keeping an eye on this overnight. Reporting in Diamond Bar, Travis Rice, Fox 11 News.